This is nearly the last question. How does race consciousness affect your work? Race consciousness, how does that shape what you do and what you have done? Yeah, and so, um, so I grew up as part of the black community, so I, I'm always, um, you know, um, that's still where I, I find my, my being. At an earlier talk today, I heard you mention the word race man, race man. He was a race man. Right. You seldom hear that right. today. Right, yeah. So, that, are so you, that's a Are you a, a term, race man? Right. Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, actually, you know, when I think about my consciousness, I mean, mm. I, I understand how I am placed in the society and what the community is that I grew up in and what the roots are, right? Um, and I'm watching my kids and I see how they also, right, have those roots, right? But um, what I'm consciously trying to put out is the idea in the country now. I think, I think actually the country is ready for a kind of we the people movement, right, which is oriented and based in the preamble, right? If you take the preamble um, as a tool for organizing, right? Not as a document which was done and finished, but as a tool that says there's a class of people who are we the people, who are conscious of themselves as we the people, who have the responsibility to keep the Constitution as a live document, right? And to change it in a way that makes it relevant to the ongoing evolution of the country and the planet, right? So, um, so that's how I'm trying to um, see myself as such a person, uh, trying to talk to other people. Um, so I've, I've been giving talks now where I ask people to uh, recite with me the preamble. Um, and think about, it doesn't say, we the President, we the Congress, we the Supreme Court. It doesn't even say, we the citizens, right? Because the idea of citizenship couldn't be defined, right? Before you had a constitution. So it addresses, we the people. So no one can stop us from actually, the only, the only people who can stop us from actually having such a movement are ourselves, right? But the government and the states and the Supreme Courts, right, the courts, they can't stop us, right, from having such a consciousness, right? So that's the consciousness that I'm really trying to both um, uh, rethink for myself uh, and to put out there for the country. Okay, Bob Moses, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me.